In 1 Kings 5, King Solomon is making preparations to build a temple for the Lord. And we immediately see the wisdom the Lord has given him as Solomon works through a relationship established by his father David. In verse 1 we read, King Hiram of Tyre had always been a loyal friend of David. When Hiram learned that David's son Solomon was the new king of Israel, he sent ambassadors to congratulate him, and God's timing couldn't have been more perfect. So Solomon responds by asking for timber. See, King Hiram's people were known for their timber harvesting skills. King Solomon himself said, there's no one among us who can cut timber like you Sidonians. But not only will King Hiram have the timber cut, he also will have the logs brought down out of the mountains, made into rafts, floated down the Mediterranean sea coast, and broken up so the Israelites can carry the logs to the construction site. And Solomon doesn't ask for just any timber, but for cedars from Lebanon, to this day, the cedars of Lebanon are a national emblem and treasure. They grow to 130 feet in height and have a massive trunk that can grow up to 8 feet in diameter. Cedar wood is prized for its fine grain, attractive color, and fragrance. It's exceptionally durable and immune to insect ravages. So the deal is struck. Hiram supplied as much cedar and cypress timber as Solomon desired, and Solomon would supply food for King Hiram's household. But what is it that you and I are to take away from this exchange of commodities between two kings 3,000 years ago? Relationships matter. During his lifetime, David had been a good steward of his relationship with King Hiram. Hiram had built David's palace. And while we aren't told much more than that in Scripture, their relationship obviously didn't end there. And David's investment in this relationship continued to produce fruit even after David was gone. I believe God is encouraging you and I today to take every relationship He brings into our lives seriously, to be a good steward of them, Let's give God the opportunity to use the relationships that He gives us as a heritage, even after our time on earth is done.